How are y'all doing today? I'm going to be giving you guys four different DeFi applications on Solana that are all token all tokenless, all four of these. And I'll just basically be giving you a quick little easy walkthrough and exactly how to do it and exactly how I'm doing it and what I plan on doing. So first we want to get our funds onto Solana. So the way I personally did this, and I'll show you guys another way to do this, or I'll tell you. So the way I did it is I went to Drift Protocol. All the links will be in the description, by the way. So I went to Drift Protocol. I just swapped or bridged from a different area. And personally, what I did is I used Wormhole because if you're bridging just from like a L2 or like Ethereum mainnet or Arbitrum, you could use the portal bridge, which is actually very similar to how layer zero will do their airdrop. But the only difference is layer zero has 3.5 addresses that have used it and wormhole only has 70,000. So it'll be a lot less diluted hopefully. So you could get an easy transaction here, just bridging that over. Or if you don't want to do that and you want to just go through a centralized exchange, then that's super easy. You just go on like KuCoin, Bybit, or Binance, or whatever centralized exchange you have, buy whatever funds you want on here. I had USDC and just transferred it over, and all you have to do is just deposit it. So what I did here is I just deposited my USDC. The only reason I still have a, uh, some here is because I'm actually borrowing 225 USDT and it looks like I can use it. So I just deposited the, deposited this in here and Drift doesn't actually have a point system yet, but they will soon and I think about a week or so. And what I did is I just made a couple of uh, transactions here just to generate some volume. I recommend trying to get like at least 10,000 in volume, um, at least for Drift because it is pretty it is it looks pretty decent i can't lie and it looks like there's a lot of volume moved being moved here on a daily basis so the next thing we got here is marginify i bet a lot of you guys have heard about this but i had just a little bit in here recently but now i just threw in more so what i did was i just went to lend and all i did was i supplied um however much I wanted to in USDC, I supplied 500. And then all, and then all I did was I just borrowed roughly half of what I supplied. So I borrowed two to So it says right here, I've, um, I have two 194 borrowed and 600 supplied. So it's pretty simple there, just trying to rack up points. And now we go over to Camino finance where I virtually did the exact same thing. I put in, I supplied some in here and I also borrowed some in order to uh, get some more points. As you can see, they do have a leaderboard system as well currently. And I do have a boost of three X right now. So I do want to take, I do want to take some, oh, and it does look like they do have leverage points here. Oh my goodness. This guy is outrageous with that. Wow. He's just printing points, <laughs> but you could also, so for Camino Finance, you could go here into the long and short and you could basically, I believe you could just, yeah, right here. So you basically deposit some USDC in here based on how big your position uh, wants to be. Let's see if I could do, let's see if 0.05, yeah. And then I could just open a long and whatnot. Can I? Uh, it won't let me put like a stop loss or anything. Oh wait, can I? Um, no, it doesn't look like I could put a stop loss in right at stop loss or anything. But I'm just gonna open a Solana long just so I could rack up. Oh wait, I kind of want leverage points, so maybe I do want to put some leverage into here. Oh, failed to deposit in the vault. Sick. So, oh, yeah, that's probably not ideal. Maybe we don't want to do that. Our liquidation. 
yeah that's why i wouldn't but if you want you could use this too pretty simple and our last one that i'll be doing is so my goal here is to get like a decent rack up a decent amount of points in uh marginify and Camino finance first and then what i'll do is i'll rotate rotate my funds into drift and then i'll rotate my funds into jupiter and then i'll just keep farming these um every day basically just to rack up points and i mean that's pretty much it just a quick little tutorial on the solana dexes not dexes but DeFi applications and that are all token tokenless by the way so happy airdrop farming and i'll see you guys in the next one